Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper, and today we've got a interesting one. Uh, this one comes in from a viewer. This is from a 1930s drill press, and he is not happy with the surface finish on this table, and I can't say that I blame him. So I've got it over here at the boring mill. We're gonna just check this thing, see, you know, a few ways how it's square and stuff, and then we'll set up and uh, face it and get it perfect for him. So the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to line this up so the camera is lined up nice and take my little stare at uh, square here, <laughs> and it is little one, and just see, and on the boring mill table it's got some gap in there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's a couple of spots. It's not, it's not true at all. Uh, it's really bad on this side, bigger gap down here. And this side is a much smaller gap. So you can see some light through here. Pretty bad right there, um, but it's still good up here. And then when we come down to this end, it's touching here and the bottom, it's, it's got a gap, but it's nowhere near as bad as that other side was. So we know we got a problem there. But the other thing he was talking about that he didn't like was this, or this one, there it is. And you can see it, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks like whoever cut this, their cutter climbed and I can feel it. I'll throw the straight edge on here and we'll just see how bad that really is. Now, I don't know if you can see that with the camera. Boy, this thing is all kinds of messed up. I got a. It's touching right here, it's touching over here. I can see light there, and I can see light over here. This thing's all kinds of messed up. So no wonder he wanted it done. This thing is, this thing is horrendous. So let's uh, come up with a plan to fix that. Now this would be a pretty easy job on the bridge port or the planer with a fly cutter, but because this is such a, a straightforward, simple job for me, I'm gonna be absurd about it. We're gonna do it on the boring mill. And we're gonna do it with this, one of my fly cutters for the boring mill. All right, guys, I have no idea how we are really going to indicate this thing because there was so much uh, imperfection with the table. Um, I think I'll bring it in, probably throw the straight edge up there and just pick a three inch spot if I can. That's that looks the best. Um, and then I'm going to check it vertically also to make sure it's I mean, we, we know we had some problems, so we're going to see a taper towards the top. And then, uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. So just feeling the paint on the back side here, um, it, it feels very uniform and just measuring it, you know, in multiple places, I'm getting different measurements all over the place. I mean, we're, <laughs> I think I saw 15 thou difference. Yeah, from here to in here, and back here, we're five thou less than here. Uh, so 15 thou over the whole thing if we go off that back edge. And I think that's kind of what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just measure it out 
yeah, all over the place. I just find a couple of spots that are Alright, so we're going to go right here, put a mark, and right there. So that is where I'm going to indicate to. So I'll bring it up to the top and just indicate that little gap and to those marks that I just put on. And we're going to get that, and then I'm going to kind of go around this thing and just see where it's what it really is. So once this is indicated and this is square, then we'll measure other places and see what we got. We're just gonna go ahead and we'll just wrap it back and forth. And that's off quite a bit. Okay, so in this little segment here, you saw a lot of movement in the middle um, as I was moving back and forth, but I got that indicated in. So these are very close now, um, and I'm probably going overboard on this. It's, it's a 1930s drill press, and um, the, the viewer that sent this, he knows what I'm dealing with, and he, you know, he wants, he, he jokingly said to make it aerospace. We'll get her as close as we can. So, um, I got her tightened up here. I want to just sweep this a few other directions and, and a few other places and we'll see how bad this thing is. So I think I'm going to go corner to corner here, see what we got. I'm going to go top to bottom here, see what we got. I think I'll go at the bottom across. So we'll do some sweeping and just see how bad this thing really is. This thing is all over the place, but we've got her pretty good. Um, there's some flex in it. I'll have to take nice light passes. Uh, I am using a CNMG insert on this cutter, but I'm using the wider angle. Um, I found that works amazing on this thing. And this is cast iron, so it'll cut pretty easy. Um, we'll just take it slow. Um, maybe a little coarser feed, because you kind of wanted to match the original finish, which is a little coarse, but we'll see how it cuts.
All right, I grabbed a trouble light here. We'll see what we can see in here without moving the saddle back further. So it touched here slightly, through here, through here, and then down here. So it did touch a bunch, cleaned it up. I think I need to slow down my feed rate though, feeling what I got here versus here where it cut. Um, it's a lot coarser, so we'll slow it down. All right, so I'm gonna take another five thousandths on this pass. I don't wanna go too crazy just because it is cast iron. It does have a lot of flex. We'll just make light passes until we get her cleaned up. All right, so I wanted to bring this out to a little better lighting, and it's looking good, except it didn't touch there. This whole area hadn't touched, and this is a deep gouge like we saw earlier. That isn't touching yet either, but it seems like 5,000 is a safe, a safe number because I think any more than that, we're gonna get some chatter. I may have to slow her down just a little bit, but Overall, that looks very nice. Um, you know, there isn't a lot of support on this thing and there ain't much to support on, so that's where it gets a little iffy. Um, I think I am gonna slow that down just a little bit to try to curb any vibration because I feel a little bit there, but five at a time seems to be a good number. I think two more passes will have all of this done. Still right there, right there, and right there. And we mostly got that one out, but I'm still not happy with, I'm getting some vibration up high. Um, we're gonna try something. So quite some time ago, a viewer sent me some of this, this hard foam, and it's, it's pretty hard, it's dense. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clamp it 
up top here and here on each corner and just try to put a little tension on it to maybe dampen that vibration. Because I noticed when I put my hand on the back, just touching it, it helped a lot. So I think this will cure our problems. So we'll go ahead and set that up. All right, so while I'm tightening this up, I want to be smart about this and not move it. That's the, that's the key. I want tension on it, but I don't want to move it. Um, so we got to be very careful about that because I do think it will pull if I'm not careful, but I want tension. So we're squeezing the rubber. It don't look like it's moving. I'm not getting a lot of tension on it, but I'm getting something. And you can see pushing on it, I get something there, but I mean, that's, that should do it. Bring her in and one more pass. And we should have this done. came out pretty good and it's cast iron so it's never it never looks perfect but it sure feels smooth um, it came out absolutely beautiful I'm actually surprised like you can see it kind of looks like chatter marks but you don't really feel anything it's it's weird but at least it's flat now um, if I throw the straight edge up there and I've done I did it off camera and it is absolutely beautiful flat now so he shouldn't have any problems with this whatsoever well i hope you enjoyed the video running the fly cutter on the horizontal boring mill i couldn't think of a better way to do this i mean something odd um just absurd really um you know i could have done it on the bridge port probably would have worked just fine i could have done it on the planer probably would have worked just fine the cincinnati horizontal but got a boring mill why not so uh, like I said, it came out, it's beautiful. Um, I think he'll be very pleased with this. At least it's flat now, which he didn't have before. So I'll go ahead and get this off and uh, get it boxed up and sent back to him. And with that, check out my online store. Um, lots of products in there. Um, Teespring handles the shirts and stuff. And I have the hats, the coffee mugs, the pin jaws, which should be back in stock next week, um, along with uh, um, we have go stops um, and honey, honey from our bees, and I'm, we're working on uh, getting more lip balm. So hopefully by early next week, we'll have that up and going again. Um, there is still some stuff in stock, but other stuff out of stock. So we're working on replenishing and working our way through that. So with that, until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.